Today we're looking at string reverse. This function is going to operate the same way as ftswap does, except we're not working directly with pointers, we're going to just swap a character. We'll need two positional iterators, one for coming back from the end of the string, and the other starting the string. Let's have int length and int i. Let's assign each to zero. Now we're going to iterate through string with our length iterator and keep track of the length. While string at length, length plus plus. Be mindful here where length actually is, where str length is. Where do you think it's at? It's right at the null terminate. Before we do anything further, we need to go a step back. Now what are we going to do? Well, we need to define a constraint so that we don't for example, if we're starting off and we go, we check the beginning and we check the end and we keep going in, 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 we don't want a situation to come about when we're going like this. Otherwise, we're just gonna flip back to the original string. We'll limit ourselves while length is greater than i. That means it will never be equal. We're going to do the following. Now we need a placeholder to keep track of either stri or str length. So char c. And down here, I'm going to say c equals str at length. Since we now have a placeholder for string at length, we want to say string length is going to equal str at i. If we have, for example, hello, we've assigned c equal to string at length, which would be the o, so c equals o, sorry, and now we're saying string at length is equal to string at i. So we have h, e, l, l, h. All right? Now you can see why we've assigned a placeholder because the o value is gone. Now we want to say string at i equals c. Now we have i is 0. So we have o, e, l, l, h. Right? And then iterate the i's and the length. So i plus plus, length minus minus. And then once that's all done, we're just going to return string. Let's get that nice and clean. You would just have something like this. You would create a character array. And you don't have to specify the length because it will automatically infer the length when you declare it like this. Let's test this. Reverse. Oh, sorry. Forgot to get rid of this garbage. Let's try that again. Okay, let's clear it out. Eat it out. ABC, we should get CBA, right? See, let's try it again. Oh, I'm sorry, not not CBA. We're we're just passing what we've already got here, right? Let's just let's just change this to make sure that we are getting the same thing. ABC. Compile it again. CBA. There we go. String reverse is pretty easy as long as you remember how swap works. You're going to first assign one of the values to a placeholder, then you're going to change the value, and then you're going to assign the other value to the value of the placeholder. And you just keep doing that until you've reached this situation where it breaks out of the loop and you're done. Remember to do a good test. Test on something that's really easy so that you can see it really, really reverses it. And you should be good. Remember, this is only asking for the function though. So you'd want to delete this. And that was for the printing. We can just get rid of all this. So you would submit something just like that. And you're done. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, I would really appreciate you to subscribe to the channel. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.